Welcome back. Now, recently we were contacted by Scale Extric and asked if we'd like to try and break the world land speed record for little slot racing cars. And having been a fan since I was probably small enough to actually fit in the car, <laughs> I begged, pleaded, insulted, and pinched Jason's arm until he let me have the gig. He did. Now, when you consider that the team behind Thrust SSC, that's the real world car that currently holds the actual land speed record, it took them years to develop their car. Dallas had seven days to build his miniature world record-breaking car. Right, first job is to pick a car for this uh, world record-breaking attempt. Um, unfortunately, scale electrics don't actually make a scale model of the Thrust SSC, the actual land speed record car, so I'm going to have to choose something else. Now, obviously, my heart wants to break the record in a police Range Rover, and yet my practical head says I might need something a little bit more aerodynamic, so I reckon I'm probably going to go with one of the F1 cars, this is the Honda, which looks kind of the simplest and most aerodynamic. So, having chosen my car, next I needed to find a brilliant mechanic who could convert my Honda into a fire-breathing record-breaker. And after a bit of research, it became clear that there was only one man for the job. I'm very excited. We're off to meet Keith, the mechanic. Keith's like the Ron Dennis of the scale electrics world, if you like. And we're going to discuss our plans to get as much speed out of this little car as we can. Nice, nice touch. Hello, Dallas Campbell. Keith is Keith Fishenden, an ex-racing driver and longtime slot car enthusiast. I'm assured that if Keith can't make my car go faster, then no one can. Failure is not an option. That's all I want to say at this point. I, That's I the mean, plan. I want to... I want this record. Yeah, I'm not in this hobby to come second. I like to win as well. OK, let's get to work. Now, a standard one of these cars goes around seven miles an hour, but mine would need to go at least 23 miles an hour to beat the record, and that would mean a lot of work. The rules state that the chassis and body must stay the same, so to increase the speed, Keith fitted a new motor capable of running at 37,500 RPM. That's over double the standard revs. He then added new, longer gears, which should make the most of the new engine's higher speed. Finally, the wheels got new brass bearings that would radically cut down the friction, and believe it or not, he even fitted tiny little high-performance tyres. You can actually feel these tyres have got... They're a lot stickier than your yeah, standard sort yeah. of scale electrics tyre. So that's going to give us a lot more grip. With the car finished, we tested it on Keith's miniature rolling road, and the thing was so powerful, it threw one of its own wheels off. <laughs> Keith had actually made me three cars, each built to an exacting high specification, so all I now needed was a very cool paint job. For that, I recruited specialist Andy Busby. We went for white with strategically placed gadget show logos, and, most importantly, my name all the way down the side. So, now I have three very, very powerful and very, very cool-looking cars. I was ready. Race day morning, and Keith and I arrived nervous and excited at Chatsworth House in Derbyshire. A scaled-down, mile-long track had been constructed for three days of world record attempts. Impressive. Oh, my God, it's huge! Look how long it is. There'd be 14,000 visitors over the weekend, and anyone would be able to have a go. But on this first morning, the track was reserved for only hardcore serious contenders. Hi. Are you the record holder? I am. Are you Meg? Yes. Are you looking forward to having your record shattered? No. no by no. the gadget show today? <laughs> no. All record attempts would be made using standard controllers and a regular 15-volt power supply. OK, here we go. Now, Keith wanted us to take it easy on our first run, but I just couldn't resist going for it. And speed up. Oh! Oh! At speed, our light car had flipped off the track. Oh, no, 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 look. That is well and truly knackered. Not a good start, and it didn't get any better. On our next run with car number two... Three, two, one. It all went pear-shaped again. Things were going from bad to worse. Our light cars just wouldn't stay on the track. All we could do was try again. We added a stronger magnet to hold the car more firmly on the track and just hoped that this would be third time lucky. Another bad crash and it could all be over. I'm going to take it half speed to about there and then I'm going to... And then build up the and speed then, and then over the line. Build it up. Are you ready your end? The car's ready. OK, let's do this. 
As real cars are 32 times the size of slot cars, our speed would also be multiplied by 32, which meant Meg's current world record that I had to beat was 696 miles per hour. With fingers, toes, and everything else crossed, I took a deep breath and went for it. Three, two, one. We'd completed the course and it was fast, but how fast? 816.51 miles an hour shattered the record. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> we have the records. Very well we done. We have the record. Well Excellent. done, my man. Excellent. We'd done a stunning 816.51 miles per hour, but it wasn't all over. And soon we had our new world record snatched away from us. Go, 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 go. No! Yay! Yay! That was a record breaker for exactly six minutes. <laughs> but we weren't going to give up our record easily. We were confident we had a world beating car, and we knew one perfect run would prove it. Oh, oh God! I genuinely couldn't believe it. We'd smashed the record again with a run of 983 miles per hour. I was a proper world land speed record holder in miniature. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was so oh, exciting! Really, that's really great. Really great. You are a driving hero. Well, thank you for him. Although you know, when they say dedication is what you need to break a record, yeah. nonsense. What you need is Keith Fisher. Absolutely, he was, he, was he was amazing. He was very serious yeah. about doing he was. it. He was a man on the top of his game, though. Dallas, I've got to ask you one question. Yeah. Though. What? There were three days of racing. Oh yeah. Does your record still stand? Yes. Yes. Yeah! Congratulations, Carl. The world record breaking gadget show. It's good night. Nice, nice. See nice one.